Hello, this is the final video from the blog post about setting up the Edge Router X with segregated LANs and an OpenVPN client. So what this is, this video, um, at this point we have set everything up. We have segregated LANs, we have um, the Edge Router X is connecting to our, our OpenVPN server um, using IPVanish as the service. Um, but no traffic is being routed ac across it. So what we're going to achieve in this in this video is we have uh, two networks, our main network and our IoT uh, or VPN network. What we want is the traffic from our IoT and VPN network to be routed over the VPN and the traffic from our main network to not be routed uh, over the VPN. So we're going to achieve this with policy-based routing. Um, so what I'm going to do is the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, load up a bash shell uh, using bash for windows. I'm going to SSH into the router. And we're in. So I'm going to go into edit mode. And what I'm going to do here is I need to define a new routing table. So I'm going to do set protocols, static, table one, and we're going to do an interface route of not dot not dot not dot not. So this, this is basically covers everything. Um, and we're going to go next hop interface is vton zero. Good, that's done. So now what we want to do is we want to create a new firewall rule and we want to create a modify policy basically. Now this, I don't believe, I could be wrong, but I don't believe this is doable from within the um, from within the website interface. I believe this is only doable from the bash um, shell from, from SSH. Okay, so let's, try, let's give this a go. I'm doing this from memory so it might I might get it wrong. Um, set firewall modify. Now I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to call mine open VPN root just so I have a chance of re remembering what it's about. Um, rule 10. And I'm going to start with the description. I'm going to call it um, traffic from IoT to VTUN zero. Good, so we're going to set firewall, modify, open VPN root, rule 10. And then I'm going to do this on source address. Source address is 192.168.3.0. Forward slash 24. So we're going to match on that source network. And then we're going to set firewall modify open VPN root uh, rule 10 modify table 1. Now we need to apply this policy to an interface. So we're going to go set interfaces, um, ethernet. In our case, it's eth2. Um, we want to apply to firewall in, uh, modify, and then open VPN root. Okay, so if I commit, okay, so that should be it. We're going to do some testing now. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just do the most basic of tests. Now, just as a reminder, this um, we are currently on the dot four subnet, so. These rules that we've created should not be applied. Um, 
they shouldn't be affected. So yeah, that's good. So far that's not been affected. So if I now disconnect from this network and connect to the IoT network, If I can type, there we go, we have a, an IP address. And if I refresh this, it some, seems to take a while to connect when I change networks. So I'm just gonna pause the video. Okay, so that didn't work and I remember why that didn't work. So I need to disconnect from the IoT. I missed a step out. Go back to the ASUS network. which works, and if I go to the router address, um, what I am missing is if I go to routing, um, sorry, that's not right, if I go to the NAT policy, I don't have a NAT configured for the, for the vTunnel, so I'm just going to go and configure that now. Okay, so I'm going to add a source net rule. I'm going to call this Masquerade for VPN. I'm going to choose the outbound interface as VTUN. I'm going to use Masquerade. And I'm going to set a source uh, address of 192.168.3.0 24. And I'm going to save that. Okay, let me just make sure that this network still operates. Yes, that all works. Right, let's go back and do my test again. That didn't work last time. Okay, if I IP config, yeah. If I ping, yes, we have internet. And if I go, what's my, remember my IP address was uh, started with 144, and we have an 81 IP address when we're on this network. And if we click on um, one of these links here, what's my IP address? It should give you the network name that we're attached to. Yes, IP Vanish, which is the uh, network provider that I'm using. So just to be completely sure about this, if I disconnect from the IoT network, and connect to the ASUS network. Check my IP address. 4.40, yes. Refresh this page. My IP address, which was I don't think Chrome likes changing network a lot. I'll just try this again. I'm gonna pause the video while it loads. Okay, I had to load a, a new browser up, but um, there we go. You can see that my IP address when connected to this network is 144. So through this series, I've achieved two separate networks um, with segregation between them. One of those networks is VPNed permanently and the other is not. Thanks very much.